Hello and welcome to MySQL uh, tutorial number four. In this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to take the last three tutorials and put them into some practice or something that actually is useful. Um, so what we're going to do is going to make a login page that's going to go to a database um, to make sure that the username and password is correct. That's then going to move over to the um, guestbook um, that table and retrieve all the information. I've added a slightly little bit more information uh, to this table um, which basically I've added um, the street, postcode, town, country and phone. Now they're all um, varchars at 255 okay so that's all you've got to do is insert into their uh, new values nothing more and what I've done is I've made a users um, table very very simple um, three, um, three fields ID being the primary and it's also increment and it's an integer and username being a varchar of 255 and password being a varchar also of 255 and that is pretty much it and I've made one um, row of David and 123456 okay so let's crack on let's come over to a PS pad and I've got three pages index.php login.php and data.php so the first one that I've got here is just going to be the HTML page um, basically to show the um, login box so uh, login page I'll just close this H1 off and then HR and then what we're just with some paragraphs is we're just going to say username slow down input type equals text name equals name and then I'm just going to copy this and we're just going to say password password here and password and we're just going to change this to username and here we'll just make a input type equals uh, submits name equals submits and value equals login so let's try to save post to local host quickly refresh it, that's me testing it before to see uh, whether I could do it in 10 minutes or not and I think I can. Okay so and as well what we need is form action equals login.php method equals post method not method off and down the bottom we just close this off with form there. Control is to save. Right that will then basically move over to login.php so we come over here so we've got our connect already and what we need to do the first thing is session starts up the top because we're going to be using sessions and what we need to clarify is that someone has actually pressed the, um, the submit button and by actually making it super global there we go so now we're checking um, that they press the submit button else let's just throw them straight back to index.php there we go so that's that bit done so if um, post what we're going to do is we're going to say user equals post uh, username and pass equals uh, post password okay so that's now putting some shorthand so what we do now is we make a query equals mysql query select everything from users which is the login um, page where username is equal to uh, user and um, password is equal to pass okay and what we're going to do is we're just going to limit it to one just to make sure Let's make sure we've got a semicolon on the end, which we haven't, so let's put one there. Okay, so that, that's that bit done. And next what we'll do is we'll um, do num rows equals MySQL num rows, which is our uh, second test to make sure that it's uh, all singing and dancing. And if num rows is equal to one, then do this. Else um, well, else basically 
thing I've made an error. There is a error somewhere. So we know that it doesn't work. Okay, so if num rows is equal to one, then what we want to do is header lock location and we're going to say data.php. So that's where we're going to um, basically show all, all the data that's within inside the database. But first things first is we need to basically make a, a session of username and let's just put that equal to um, user. So it's going to put the username into that. So let's control this to save. That is pretty much successful. So the press the post button, two variables here, it's going to select, select, select everything from users where username is equal to user and password is equal to password, limit one, multiple number rows, blah, 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 comes to there. Username is now set, so it's control is to save. We can come over to here now, and at the top we obviously need to session start, otherwise it won't read that um, session. So what we need to do is we say if, uh, whoops, slow down, if set, session username if that sets that's right, that's right, that's right. if it's set then it will do this else um, someone's just visited the page with, um, without actually starting so we're just going to header location index.php else we want to do another query so query equals mysql um, query and that is select everything from uh, guest book where name because that was the name is equal to user okay and we're just going to say uh, limit one as well and what we do come down here is we say user equals session username here. So we're putting that into shorthand, which is um, what it is. Okay, so that's then done that. We don't need number rows because we've already tested it already that it's the right person. So what we do is we say while, which we don't need to, but um, I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it because we did it in the last tutorial. So while fetch associates and query and uh, what we need to do so now we just need to say echo row uh, name and uh, break okay I'm, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to fill out all these things okay that's them all filled out now so all the information in the database is now coming out so if it's session set and I'm pretty sure that this is going to work right now. So let's refresh this. My username was David and password 123456. Okay, error on 914 on data.php. So, okay, the switch is there. So that's concatenated, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that should be all okay. Let's come to here. Ah, okay, cool, it's there. So it needs to be concatenated on the ends. Let's fix all these errors. So control is to save. And there we go. Okay, so let's go from the beginning here. So index.php, go David, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's an error somewhere that's because that was wrong there. login and it's all there that's pretty much this tutorial done it was a bit hard and fast but um, I did all the information I showed you um, basically logging into a website checking the data and then retrieving uh, retrieving information uh, my name is David Thorne you can visit me at www.thornwebdesign.de this was just a confirmation for you to see how it runs tutorial number five we'll move on to some more stuff and we'll slow it right down as well thanks very much for watching don't forget to subscribe